So here we are with the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge and I wanted to demonstrate this very useful feature called multi-control. And it allows you to use your Galaxy Book 4 Edge to control your other Samsung devices. So for example, I have my Z Fold 6 on the left here and I have my Tab S9 on the right there. And within the application, I have everything laid out respectively. So if I use the trackpad and I go to the left side of the display and off of it, I go right into my Z Fold 6. And if I go the other way to the right edge and off of the display, I wake up my Tab S9. And what's also cool is not only does the trackpad work for controlling these devices, but you can also use the keyboard from the Galaxy Book 4 Edge for input for either of those devices. And this is a really cool productivity feature. Now the reason I also wanted to cover this is because it emphasizes how the Samsung Galaxy ecosystem is seamless. I don't think it gets enough credit, maybe enough recognition, anything like that. And I think that this feature is going to be really good for anyone who's looking to maximize their productivity and who is a fan of Samsung devices. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how to do this. So here we are with this spectacular setup. And once again, we're going to have the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 on the left, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 on the right, and the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge in the middle. Now also of note, our devices that are off to the side, they are mounted in these really cool mounts that I covered in a previous video, which I'll link in the corner of this video. But these mounts allow you to adjust the height of your devices to get them where you would want horizontally, but you can also rotate them to get a favorable angle as well. Now I also wanted to include a screen recording of the Galaxy Book 4 Edge so that you can see in better detail what I'm doing and follow along a little bit easier. So we're going to start by looking for the Windows icon. So I'm going to move my cursor to the bottom and I have the taskbar that automatically hides. I'll put the card for that how-to video into the corner of this video so you can learn how to do that. But again, we are looking for the Windows icon and that's the start and we're going to click on that. And then we're going to do a search for Galaxy Book Experience. Now what I like about the Galaxy Book 4 Edge is it also has a touch screen. So I'm going to use the touch screen to select that option. And that's going to pull up the Galaxy Book Experience application. It's a nice layout here, fairly simple. And I'm going to see if maybe we can put this in the corner, maybe make it a little bigger. And there we go. So we're going to get a better view of the app here. Now this application has really good features here, such as your Samsung account or Samsung Notes, which I also covered in another video. And I'll link that video as well in the corner of this video too. But we're going to look for multi-control and select it. And this is going to open a new window titled multi-control. So as you previously seen, my devices are connected in multi-control, but you get a really nice view here. So these are virtually organized and correspond to the physical organization. So we're going to have the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 virtually on the left, which is physically on the left. And then we're going to have the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 virtually on the right, which is physically on the right as well. And that is the ideal way to have them. Now we could reorganize these just by clicking and holding on a device and then dragging it where we would want it. And you can see that changes the organization. Now, once these changes are made, you have to select apply and that will apply the changes. So ideally I should be able to move to the left in the Galaxy Book 4 Edge display, which would bring me through to the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. And then if I keep going, I end up on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9. Now, again, this isn't the most ideal way, 
you would ideally want one device on the left of the Galaxy Book 4 Edge and then one device on the right of the Galaxy Book 4 Edge. So that being said, I'm going to drag the Tab S9 back to the right side of the Galaxy Book 4 Edge and then click Apply. So as you've seen, we can use the trackpad to control these devices. You can see that I can just get the mouse hovering over either. But I want to open up an application. So we're going to look at the Z Fold 6 and we're going to open the Pocket Cast widget here. Click on it. And you can see this works seamlessly using the trackpad of the Galaxy Book 4 Edge. Now, I do wonder if we can adjust the cursor speed here for this application or maybe that has to be done on the Z Fold 6 itself because that would be a bit better if it were a little faster. But we can also use gestures like two fingers to swipe down on the interface of the Pocket Cast app. Now what's also cool is we can use the Galaxy Book 4 Edge's actual keyboard as input for either of these devices. So we're going to focus on the Tab S9 and I'm going to move the cursor to that device. Again, works really seamless here. And we're going to look for the Edge browser and we're going to click on it. And I do want to talk about the lag. There is a very small amount of lag or skipping. It's not horrible. This is it actually works very well, but we do get a little bit. But we're going to use the physical keyboard of the Galaxy Book 4 Edge on the Tab S9 for input. So I'm going to do a search for news.google.com and you can see I'm actually using the Galaxy Book 4 Edge keyboard to do this on the Tab S9 and we're going to click enter and that's going to complete the search. So you can move between these devices back and forth. You can have an app open on the Tab S9 and another app open on the Z Fold 6 or whatever smartphone you may have. And then use the Galaxy Book 4 Edge for something else. So just to demonstrate here, we can close this out. And uh, let's say that I wanna open Microsoft Edge here. I can open Microsoft Edge here and now I have a really cool multitask and productivity setup. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon, check in out.